Good morning, everyone. I'm very excited about this. I haven't done an IGTV in a while, um, but I'm joining with some other wonderful ladies, some wonderful Instagram um, accounts here to show us or show you <laughs> and us too, I guess, our summer read alouds. So we've got a lot. I've kind of just got them all around here on the table that I'll just show you, um, you know, as I go through each pile. So let's get started. Our first big one for the summer is Narnia and um, this one has all seven stories in it. We're only planning on reading six of them. We usually skip the horse and his boy um, at this age because it's sort of more on the boring side. I love the rest of them though. So we're actually using this alongside my um, literature curriculum that's going to be released next month which is good for kindergarten, well preschool through sixth grade and kind of seventh and eighth grade sort of. So this is our first big one and we kind of just read a book every two weeks. We read two chapters a day, Monday through Thursday. We're on The Magician's Nephew right now and next week we're going to be starting The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So that is the big, big read aloud. Now my daughter has started to read like a lot, a lot of books. She's been sticking to picture books, but she has started to pick up some chapter books. So I wanted to show you a few of her favorites. Um, I couldn't find the other one of these, but we have three. So there's the big biggie books number three number two and then we have number one um number four will comes out in september all of his books mo willems they're already all out but we like these because they're five books in one and it's cheaper than buying five of his books they always have them at the library but we like to have some of these at home because she reads these all the time so she'll read she'll pick um, one story from each of these for school every day right now and we're writing them down and when she finishes all three of them so all 15 books we're gonna give her a prize we haven't decided what that's gonna be yet um another series she likes to read and I didn't bring all of them over here because there's a lot I think there's 80 or 60 one of those these are from us born and they're beginning reading series there's um purple green and orange I believe are the different levels um, so purple is level two, which is what she's kind of on. Level one has books where you and the parent both take turns reading. And then it kind of goes, um, you can kind of see the word size in here for level two. And level three just has smaller words and more words. And these are really awesome. We've kind of been cycling through these for the last year. They've got a lot of Aesop's fables and stuff in here as well. Um, let me put these over here. And then she's been reading chapter books. So she just read a mermaid tales book. And then I also just discovered the princess Ellie series. So we're going to try that out. She's going to start reading this one today. Um, and I'll let you guys know how, how that one goes. Some other read outs that we're always reading are the Berenstain Bears books. As you can see, we have a lot of them. We like to borrow some from my mother-in-law and then the um, library always has them too. So we, you know, we have a few studies in our shop for the Berenstain Bears. So the one we're doing right now is spring, which we have a spring collection, but I think my daughter took it downstairs to read at night. So that's where that is. <laughs> we are also doing some science. Oh, we also found this one. We're, we're not totally sure, but it's Ellie's Log. It's all about nature. I thought it was cool because it had Ellie's name on it. So we're going to just check that out kind of as a family. But then we're also, um, the kids are helping me put together our new earth science curriculum. We've got a few studies here and there, but um, there's just some we needed to finish up. So we've got a lot of rocks and minerals books right now that we're going through. Um, we're also using some kits from Excavating Adventures for that. We're also going to be going through and making units for the ocean dinosaurs. And probably another one, but I can't remember. <laughs> so we've got a lot of rocks and minerals books for this last week and this week. And then we'll go back to the library for more of those. So those are some more summary allowed. And my kids like to just look through those and tell me all the fun facts and stuff that they've been learning. It's been really exciting. Um, we're also going to be doing the My Father's Dragon series. And I don't know if we'll get to that like before the baby comes or if these will be something we listen to and are we, we read in August or if I can find them for them to listen to. I've heard really good things about these. So that's another series. 
And then audiobooks are our family's favorite, which is funny because I'm the only one out of my husband and my kids who actually don't, <laughs> doesn't listen to audiobooks. I like to read the books. If I listen to audiobooks, I uh, will end up having to rewind and play things over because my mind will wander. I'll be thinking about something else, be doing something else. So my kids love listening to audiobooks though. So we have the Libby app which connects to the library. And so we have been doing a lot of boxcar children books and I believe they only have six left. Um, so we kind of just, you know, we have those on here. And they usually read two and a half a week. So they'll do an hour a day. Each boxcar children book is usually about a two hour listen. So Monday and Tuesday will be a book, you know, Thursday and Friday will be a book or Monday, whoa, Wednesday and Thursday. I don't know the days of the week, guys. Wednesday and Thursday will be a book, and then they'll split a book either Friday, Saturday, if we're here on Saturday, or Friday, Monday, and then it kind of starts over like that. So having only six books left, I expect to be done in three weeks with those. And then we've checked out a few other audiobooks from the library that we're wanting to check out. Um, a to Z Mysteries, The Story Thieves, and Wings of Fire. And then The Princess. What does that say? The princess who flew with dragons. My kids are super into dragons right now, as you can probably tell from a lot of our choices, a lot of mythical creatures and stuff like that. So we're going to listen to these on our CD player. Um, we also, I've made a list on Trello for other, there's a hair there, other books that we want to be able to listen to and some on our, um, Blister Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys and then we've really been looking just for more audiobooks because my kids love 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 audiobooks and they do it every single day unless for some reason you know we're gone or it's Saturday or Sunday sometimes they even do it on Saturday or Sunday and they they learn a lot and so every Monday I'll have my daughter narrate either what she listened to or something she actually read for school um and uh, then every other Thursday, they'll dictate to me a sentence. It doesn't have to do anything with a book. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But those are all of our summer read alouds. Like I said, not really all of them. But that is a very good place to start. As you can tell, we love books. As a family, we're always reading, even if I'm not reading to them, they're listening to books. You know, Ellie's reading now, which is just so nice. It's not just me reading anymore, it's her. She's picking up these books and she's reading them out loud to us. Um, the chapter books she usually reads in her head and then she just gives me a recap of each chapter as she goes along. Um, and so, very excited. Very excited for all these summer books, yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you've read any of these, if you've heard of any of these, or ooh, if you have any recommendations for me. She's at a second grade reading level, um, like second to third grade, kind of like where the Magic Treehouse books are at, which I'm going to see if I can inspire her to read some of those because we've read all of them as a family three times. So maybe she can start reading those now. But if you have any recommendations for me on picture books, maybe on chapter books, for a family that you really like or on chapter books or books that second grade, third grade kind of reading levels can read. I would love that. I hope this helped and I hope you all have a great day.